Hi, this is not a very good hunting channel. Today I'm going to go out and check out the food plots and see how they've been doing over the last couple of weeks. See if um, we got anything to show for all that work I put in earlier in the year. I should say something else. This is where I say something else. <laughs> So this is the newest plot. Um, uh, I got a little bit, um, but not much germinated. I'll turn this around. So I got a, a ring around that tree coming up. None of this really. I mean, I planted stuff here or broadcast anyways little patch here I mean some of that little stuff is still growing they're not all big like that one um, and not much over here I'm trying to see yeah it's just a little green patch over there I had broadcast Yeah, so you can still see, there's still seeds that haven't, lots of, lots of the seeds haven't even germinated. Um, I didn't go as thick this year, um, just because I didn't want to overcrowd them, but a lot of these did not germinate. Like... 75% I would say didn't germinate because of we uh, because we didn't have any of that rain that they were calling for when I broadcasted and I mean the stuff that did germinate the fertilizer has really helped you can see here like that stuff's pretty tall now I mean well tall it's like six inches or so and it's pre looking pretty healthy but not much at all germinated now this soil isn't very good like it's not very good soil but This is the first year planting here, and I know I had issues with the last time I planted. The last time I planted was down there. In there, and coming around, coming back up to this. This came out nice, so I, that's why I, I want to do the soil, uh, sorry, do the next planting in soil adjacent to that, because this grew better. It's overgrown now, but last year was very nice. And uh, even this year, it sprouted up. Like, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure this is what the uh, the brassica grew into. And it all it all grew and flowered in the spring. Well, flowered in the summertime. Because this is the stuff that I overseeded with last year, with the brassica seeds. And you can see the little brassica seeds there. 
So I guess if I would collect all these and then toss them over there every year, it'll work out. But I mean, instead of buying seeds, I guess. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I got growing so far. I mean, there are there is more brassica coming up, but is that going to be good enough to feed anything um, in the winter time? I mean, it's not very much. I would say out of this, maybe quarter acre total of uh, path at the most quarter acre or maybe you know a little bit less only 25 percent of it actually germinated and uh, and came to uh, grow but hey it's better than nothing so at least uh, at least I got something out here for the uh, fall and winter I don't have a big deer herd there's not very many deer ever on camera here even like does and fawns um, so it's not like it's gonna get eaten down to the ground in some places uh, come October or something so I'm glad at least something came out of it I'll go and I'll check the other food plot uh, that that I think is doing a little bit better the uh, pictures I've been getting on trail cameras um, but still, it's not nearly as much as the year before. And again, that's because when I planted it, I was expecting the entire weekend to rain and then into the next week. And we didn't get any of that. We got a little bit of rain that Saturday when I planted uh, in the morning and afternoon. But then that was it. And then it was like two weeks straight of just hot, sunny weather. So that killed a ton of the, the little ones that we're going to grow or just prevented the seeds from germinating and now it's getting to be too cold that the G the seeds aren't going to germinate and um it might turn out to be like last year in that other plot where i start seeing brassicas growing well in the springtime because they uh they were dormant the entire time and then came out in the spring after all the uh, snow melted and stuff but we'll get to the other plot and we'll check it out and hopefully it's uh, producing a little bit more than this one. Okay, uh, I'm here at the uh, second plot. Uh, I guess the southern plot. This one's doing better. Uh, there's still a big, big chunk. There's lots of big chunks where there's not much coming up. Um, like the other one, I fertilized this entire place. I didn't just fertilize where um, the seeds were doing well. I fertilized everywhere just to hopefully, you know, help the ones that were starting to come up. Um, but yeah, this is pretty patchy, but at least there is more green in general. But this soil is deeper um, because whenever I come out here after uh, a bit of dry days and, and temperatures, this ground stays a bit more um, damp than the other place. And the other one, I don't know how deep the soil goes, but this soil is, a, is definitely a little bit a bit deeper than the other places. Um, but again, this year we've had so much hot, dry weather um, in August. And I'm thinking next year, I'm just gonna plant in July like I did the year previous. And if it dies a little bit earlier, oh well, at least it's green and it's good for uh, the fall. Whereas here I tried to wait a little bit longer to keep it fresher. Um, 
going into uh, November and December and it cost me by uh, running into a bunch of dry days so this isn't too bad like this is probably about a half acre plot and the germination here is looking like you know maybe 40 percent might come up I mean there's still time for it to grow it is getting a little bit colder now but um, I'm hoping the uh, days will be warm enough to keep helping this stuff grow so I can get a couple more inches out of it and get the bulbs a little bit bigger because last year in January I had deer hanging around still uh, pawing through the snow at it so I guess we'll see we'll keep up to date with this again uh, closer to hunting season um, see how it's coming up I'm hoping in the next couple weeks anyways it's uh, it continues to grow and we get some warmer weather and a little bit more rain but I'm glad to see that I think the fertilizer was helping because uh, the parts where I, I hammered it on while I was broadcasting it they really came up I would say I used 50 pounds on each of these well maybe maybe 75 I had three bags so yeah so maybe 75 pounds between uh, each of them so 150 and um, it was 46 uh, zero zero so 46 percent of it was nitrogen so let's say roughly about half so I brought gas about 75 pounds of nitrogen between the two of them um, so yeah so as for the uh, food plots definitely think next year I'll be um, planting it a little bit earlier and go with uh, a big big torrential rainy uh, rainy week if we ever get one so well, at least that's it for the food plots I'll uh, come back again closer to uh, the season starting and take another look and then during the season I'm sure there'll be some more footage of it hopefully it'll be uh, pretty green and leafy by then if not oh well there's always next year